This is one of my favorite plants. This is hellebore. These plants are toxic, but that can be good and it can be bad. But before I get to toxicity, let me just point out a couple of neat features about this plant. First of all, all of this is evergreen, so it will stay green in the wintertime, which I love to have around our house. Secondly, these flowers are one of the first ones to pop up in the spring. They're called Christmas rose, which some of them pop up around Christmas time. They're also called Lenten rose, which means they pop up around Lent, which is right around now in early March. They come in lots of different colors, pinks, and we have whites here. These whites have spots. Sometimes they're almost black. They can be double petaled, but most of the time you'll just have these, which are five petals, and then they have have the coolest looking insides. You'll see little egg-like things, which are actually the stamen, that's the male parts on the outside, and then on the inside, that's the female parts. Those will then grow into five seed pods, and inside of those seed pods, a whole bunch of seeds will develop that are black, and then you can scatter them around your garden. The one thing I love about these Christmas roses is that you can actually grow them very easily in the south. They're heat tolerant, they're almost impossible to kill, you just put them in the ground, you can divide them, move them around, and they're also resistant to deer and rabbits, and that is because of their toxins. Now these are not native to the United States, they're actually native to the Mediterranean area, and oddly enough, they were used back in the day for medicines. For instance, Dioscorides, the father of pharmacology, a Greek physician, recommended using hellebore for skin diseases, recommend putting it in your ear to cure deafness, and as a mouthwash to heal toothaches. But don't start experimenting now. Now today, modern medicine has almost completely forgot about this plant, and that's in part because if you eat too much of it, it's toxic. So it is a poisonous plant, and like all toxins, it's in the dose. Do you have a little bit? Do you have a lot? There are a lot of ill-defined toxins in this plant, but one of them is a cardiac glycogen side, and those are things that might stop your heart. If you're familiar with uh, things like foxglove, it has cardiac glycosides, and those are used as medicines, those compounds, but they're also something that could kill you. This is mildly toxic as a plant, so you're more or less okay as long as you don't eat too many. But you might want to be careful if you have a dog that's prone to digging up and eating everything, because if they dig up the rhizomes of this plant, it could be toxic to them. And that's why I say this toxin is both good and bad. Keeps the deer and rabbits away, but you also don't want your dogs and little kids to start eating it. Anyways, this is one of my favorite plants, Lenten Rose. If you enjoyed that video about the hellebore or Christmas rose, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, Stone Age Man, which is my main channel, and watch this video next.